Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Hollow be thy name. I bring to you the Holy Church. Their rule is one of the few that span across the entire Nasuverse. Kire from Fate Stay Night, Shiro from Apocrypha, CL from Tsukihime, Rice Bite from Melty Blood. These are just a few of the many faces that you'll run into when you tread these lines. Now, the Holy Church, better known as the organization behind the Roman Catholic Church, is a group of individuals that pride themselves on protecting God's name. Their job is to find anybody that may be heretical to their God and eliminate them. Disrespect the Lord and you might just earn yourself an early casket. This type of thinking has put them at odds with the association for quite some time. Looking at some of the mages over at the clock tower, they have dedicated themselves to keeping magecraft out of the hands of the public. Something that concerns the church dearly for all we know they could release a tragedy that wreaks havoc upon us all don't believe me just take a look at kirasugu's backstory if you think i'm lying oh don't worry about it we got the mage stuff under control this does not look like y'all having it under control it happened before and it can happen again and the church is not about to let that go down now there are many different types of beings that the church may consider heretic but the one that they fear most of all is the vampires highly complex beings with the ability to infect others these guys are seen as a scourge of mankind we gotta clap them but that isn't to say that they've never worked with the association. There has been a few times where the church is willing to look the other way if it means that it will help them achieve a certain goal. Prime example, the Holy Grail War itself. Considering that the Grail is a holy relic, the way they see it, ain't nobody getting their hands on the Grail unless they're involved. The Holy Church pulls up with the supervisors, the association does the prep work, and then they lead you guys to do all the fighting while they reap the benefits later. Couldn't have done it better myself. As far as dealing with the heretics, the church has created several different departments that deals with each scenario as they arise. You have the assembly of the eight sacrament, which is a group that focuses on collecting and researching the holy relics that were associated with Christ. The Holy Cross, the 30 coins of Judas, the nails that were provided at his crucifixion. Here you'll see people like Rize and Shiro Kodami. One of their main jobs is to check the background of anybody claiming that they got their hands on the grail. In the event that it is real, they do not want that to fall into the hands of somebody dangerous. The conduct that you find in their workflow was meant to follow a new sacrament outside of Christianity's original seven. Even though it's heresy, you might see us use a little mage crab, but it's for the Lord though, so it's cool. The burial agency is a group of inquisitors that was started by Roa and Narborek back in Tsukihime. Roa being a former human that turned himself into a dead apostle ancestor. Their job is to thoroughly investigate the heretics that the Holy Church takes down. They will do this by any means necessary, even if that doesn't align with some of the church's rules, experiments, mutilation. The only thing that they care about is results. They are the type of people that operates from the dark, but hold the most powerful members of the organization in its entirety. These are the guys that can go toe to toe with the servant. Matter of fact, they've had such a desperation for power in the past that they took it upon themselves to invite a dead apostle ancestor into their ranks. Uh, little ironic? You have the chivalric orders, which are the knights of the church that defend what is considered holy territory. Each of them having their own unique skill and very likely to have their own personal conceptual weapon. Rice by Stryberg, for instance, is someone who carries the holy weapon, True Apocrypha, giving her access to infinite youth and the ability to block extremely powerful attacks. The Executors. This might be one that's a little more familiar. Vampires, magi, monsters, or anybody else for that matter might want to step out the way when these guys come through. Normally, the church would just send out some exorcists for their line of work, but the executors usually provide more effective results. 
by putting you down for good. Some of the most prominent executors being Kire and Ciel. Need I say more? This man has been trained by the church to be an assassin since the age of 10. He was willing to wait 10 long years just to bust soaking head wide open. And my, was it worth it? This is the type of people that you're dealing with. You have the exorcist. This is a group that takes a more original approach, exercising any spirit that might cause harm to the people. Members like Kirei's daughter, Karin, are used for that exact reason. If it comes to a case that there's a disturbance on the rise, Karin can utilize a unique psychic power that mirrors the effects that these spirits might bring with their possession. The Templars are a branch that honestly went unexplored since they came from Fate Prototype. And no, not those Templars. Basically, you can see them as a group that's internally motivated that hardly will ever abide by the common rules. These guys will flat out hire criminals and lend them to the church if that's what it takes to get the job done. Hopefully with the release of Jacques de Molay, who was in the original Templars, we might see this get a revival. Now when it comes to the church's weaponry, you'll never catch them slipping. Their most commonly used device is the conceptual weapon known as the Black Keys of Providence. Considering that the vampires are their most sought out enemy, this works extremely well in turning their targets into ashes. Then you have the ash locks, which are the weapons that they typically fight with. Gauntlets, armaments, armor that transforms into weapons on demand, you get the idea. The church also has their own defined specialties in magecraft. Let it be known that you're not the only one that knows tricks out here, my boy. Under normal circumstances, they would see magecraft as something that was heretical and decide not to use it. But the way that they employ it is less about them being the aggressor and more about them fortifying themselves against them. You can see this from members like Shiro Kodamine using his baptismal rite to obliterate Dornick. You have holy shrouds, which are mystic coals that are also tend to be held by the church. Shrouds like the one that Kire gave Shiro back in Heaven's Field. And don't be fooled by the look, this shroud alone was enough to contain the massive power from Archer's arm when it was connected to Shiro. You have the right hand to glory, an unorthodox mystic code that causes their target to fall asleep. Various members were able to create the code by cutting off the arms of sinners that the church deemed unworthy and were hung. And how could you forget the scriptures? Scriptures being yet another conceptual weapon that are granted to the members in the executor branch. People like CL carry multiple scriptures, one of them being the seven holy scripture. The weapon itself was created by the church a thousand years ago by incorporating a being from the phantasmal species. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm not trying to be hit by anything that comes out of that. And by the way, Takeuchi has become a god with the artwork. This doesn't even look like it was made by the same person, but yeah. These guys are extremely dangerous, wouldn't wish them upon my worst enemy. Now I will say there is way more about them to tell and we will get to each one of those individually. I've already did some videos in the past covering the dead apostles and the ancestors since they're the main ones that they hunt down. Though I do think that we need to revise that with all the changes that are being made in the Tsukihime remake. Might just have to address those again. Let me know what you guys think like the video if you enjoyed it shout out to all the patrons and i will be back with more tight moon content it is your boy sire i'm out